Yo, what it do, YouTube? It's your boy, Culture Shock. Now, I know Joe Cullen and Chris Harris is both available and have interviews with the Colts in the later in this week, or sometime around this week, but another former NFL player uh, and former Indianapolis Colts, Darius Butler, put his hat in to become a defensive coordinator or some type of coach for the Indianapolis Colts moving on. A lot of Colts fans are on the edge about this because he doesn't have any coaching experience, but when you look at him from his perspective, a former defender, that knows a little bit about coverage and one thing that we lacked last year, I wouldn't be all opposed to bringing him in for coaching next season. Now, that's, of course, if no one else is available or we don't make another move. I mean, like, why not? Or not have him in the coaching staff at all. I mean, adding him on the coaching staff, we did we did lose Roe. Uh, we did probably going to lose Allen Williams as well. All of them are probably going to go to Chicago with Eagle Flues. So there's going to be a lot of spots open. So it's like, why not bring him in to, you know, maybe – be some type of role for the Colts. He does know what he's doing. Uh, he does know what he's talking about. He doesn't probably want the biggest role in Indianapolis. So I'm not opposed to that decision. Like I said, there is other people available like Vic Fangio and there's like a ton of people on the list. So if they overlook him and maybe bring him in later, I'm totally fine with that. Like Robert Mathis is available for coaching as well. If you wanted to bring him in for the edge rush because that was another thing that we were lacking, it's just to open your mind and expand it and start thinking, you know, towards the future of what can actually work for the Colts. You know, we're still a young team, and we all need mentors. And I think former players coming back to coach is probably one of their dreams. And I think some of these guys in the locker room or when they were on the field or, you know, or playing on the sidelines or something like that were acting like a coach. So maybe some of these guys could fill that role. Like a Robert Mathis, in my opinion, one of the best sack artists in the NFL, could become a coach at any moment. He's training people to this day. Why not have him on the coaching staff? Darius Butler knows a lot about coverages. He talks about it all the time on his podcast with uh, Antoine Pathea. It's like, why not bring him on the coaching staff if there's a spot available for him? You know what I'm saying? Like, there's other people with experience you can bring in for sure. But I'm saying if you wanted to add him, it wouldn't be an issue. It wouldn't be an issue to me at all. So um, I'm definitely thinking he should be another person to look at just in case if you want to add him. But like I said, if they're going, uh, if they wanted to have someone with experience, I'm looking at the Washington football team guy uh, for sure, or you know Vic Fangio for sure. He he's pretty good at defense as well. But there's players and the, there's coaches in the playoffs right now that you could look at and scout, and they may be available when the season's over that you might want to add on there. Like I said, the enemy's still available. I'm pretty sure he's going to be on the market somewhere, even though he's probably going to look for a head coaching job. If he doesn't get one, you can add him. Um, like Brian Flores still available. There's a lot of coaches that you can add to this roster for the coaching staff for Indianapolis Colts. It doesn't have to be Darius Butler, but I'm saying he could make a big move and he could probably jump start his career as a head coach in Indianapolis. It might not be the best, but I mean, you could start from scratch somewhere. You could start at the bottom, maybe as a DB coach and then move your way up in the rankings. Now, I think that'd be a good thing for Darius Butler. Uh, he's, he seems intrigued. He was on the Pat McAfee show talking about it. So I'm not opposed to bringing him in on the coaching staff for the Indianapolis Colts. But you guys let me know in the comment section your thoughts about his comment with coming to coach for the Indianapolis Colts in the comment section below. And who else would you want upon the list that was named and who haven't I talked about? Let me know in the comment section. This is Culture Shock, and I'm out.